Oh boy, here we go. The year is 2067 and you volunteered to be deployed to an unnamed section of Mars. Your mission, of course, to survive and colonize. Hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome to JCB Pioneer Mars. Not all missions proceed as planned. Well, we'll see how it goes here as we just landed on Mars. Hopefully we can find our base and get started with some mining here, but I think before we do, we're going to have a little Pioneer. bit of trouble. Telemetry shows a critical impact during descent. Oh, yeah. Rebooting life support systems. All right. Booting up. Here we go. Please scan surroundings for materials critical for survival. All right. Success. Scanners confirm the existence of a potential life support system. Vehicle Explorer oh. JMC X18. Very good. We can move now. All right. Let's get to that Explorer then. We're going to uh, grab that vehicle. On your hood. Please move quickly. Oh, boy. We got meteors, folks. All right. So, again, if you guys are liking what you're seeing here, go ahead and subscribe and welcome to the channel. That must have been somebody hitting that button. A big O explosion. If you guys want to see more of this, too, hit that like button, too, as well. So I know that you want to see much more of this type of content. Oh, boy. We got a long way to go here. And, of course, this game is available only on Steam as well. So I've had a little bit of a chance to live stream it as well. So we're going to see a base building. We're going to see some mining operations going on. It's going to be big. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. We got to stay away from this stuff. The sky is falling. Oh, my goodness. Those meteoroids are coming in fast. Yeah, this game is a heck of a heck of a start here. Oh, boy. Watch out for those red sections. You don't want to be in there or else oh, you're going to be dead. Oh, boy. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's two. All right. Jump over the rock. Oh, we made it out of there just in time. All right, we've taken a little bit of damage, but we should be okay. Uh-oh. All right, there's some turbulent wind. Boy, it's almost like an Olympic simulator. So for those of you who might know, JCB makes some very large vehicles, like mining vehicles, skid steers and stuff, and you're about to see their space skid steer. Looks a little bit different, but here she is, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the JMC X-18. Let's Please hop in. Enter. Use the JMC X-18 scanners to find the landing zone. All right, let's do it. Success. Pre-rendered habitation unit uh -oh. located within two kilometers. Get out of here, hurricanes. Main there we mission. go. Drive to the landing zone. All right, Roger that. We're on our way to the landing zone for our big old main base. Now, I want to know from you watching right now, what are some of your favorite space video games or movies? Mine would definitely be Dead Space, and my favorite space movie would probably be a Apollo 13. But let's check down below in the comments section and see what everybody's selecting and saying and and voting on oh man i want to know what one's going to be number one so make sure if you see somebody else uh, making a movie up there that you like or uh, didn't actually think of for example armageddon hit that like button on there JMCX comment oh boy uh oh she basically means lightning that we're gonna have to we're literally going to be driving through lightning on mars you've got to be kidding me Oh, my goodness. Well, folks, thanks for all your likes and uh, subscriptions and, of course, all of your comments so far. Appreciate that. But now, hold on to your butts. we got to get through our tornado alley. Evasive maneuvers. Here we come. Look at that. There's literally lightning shooting out of tornadoes. This is insane. Man, this game is really cool. Again, JCB Pioneer Mars is the name of the game. And welcome home, folks, to main base. We're going to skirt, skirt up to that main door. Ooh, whoa, okay. Got zapped there. Now we're okay, though. Uh, luckily, our vehicle uh, is defense. Uh, I guess it's got a little defense against that, I suppose. All right, use Q to exit vehicle. All right, we're home. Hi, honey. I'm home. Siri, are you here? I hope you left a pizza on or something. I like pepperoni. All Sinking right. with habitation units. Oh, whoa. Oh, 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 wow, that was very emotional. Hab telemetry indicates damage occurred uh -oh. at approximately the same time as your interrupted descent. We don't have any power. That's not good. New Ooh. mission. Restore the habitation unit to full working order. Oh, how do we do that then? Are these guns? Oh, this is cool. How do we restore? All right, exit the hab, which is our habitat to, to perform. To damage to the infrastructure of the habitat, all power sources are to be inspected. Oh, sure. All right, let's uh, let's take some pics for the... Uh, for, whoa, watch it, everybody. All right, Snapchat. Let's Snapchat. Here we go. And go. Yeah, all right, perfect. That's going to be in the timeline. All right, and let's go with this one. Return to the hab. Okay, we're returning to the hab now, the habitat. Okay, so now we got to do some repairs. So it looked like those guns weren't just weapons. It looked like they were Analysis repair guns. Analysis shows that the first solar panels require repair. Gather supplies and prepare for a second EVA. All right, let's grab this gun here Equip and we'll uh, load it up. to the first solar device, Alpha 1. All right, let's grab some of these repair... There we go. Some uh, repair material and some oxygen. Oh, it looks like we're full on that. Okay, all right. We're carrying all the repair that we can. Okay, we're going to repair these modules here on these uh, solar panels. 
So very cool game. You can do mining. You can build a base. You can drive vehicles. You can excavate uh, small pieces of uh, land and such and move things around. Very cool. All right, we also have a garage where we're going to charge up our vehicle, our JCB there. Can get some upgrades. Can also be repaired, recharged, and we can even uh, store things in there as well if we need to. So let's get to repairing. All right, looks like some oxygen's leaking out of that one. That's not good. All right, let's... Uh, there we go. That's going to be all the oxygen on the base. So we are going to have to... This is basically a survival game. Also meets a mining and a uh, farming game as well. You can do farming. You can mine. There's so much to do in this. But let's get started by uh, finishing up the repairs on the other side of this garage. Oh, was it on the other side? Oh, I thought it may have been damaged over here. Looks like it's uh, at random where things get damaged. Cool. Well, we got to see a tour of the big... That's, that's a big old garage. All right, let's repair this panel here. Looks like we're about halfway done, and we're done. Very good. All right, looking good. Building repaired. Perfect. All fancy. All right. Recover the JMC X18. All right, we'll grab that. Let's hop in the car. Skirt, skirt. Here we go. All right, very good. Park the JMC X18 in the garage. All right, not a problem. Here we come. Vehicle and repaired. Good. Oh, good. We're repaired. Oh. You need to locate a logic board and power coupling. Utilizing the hub scanners to project possible location to salvage. Scanning. Scanning. New mission. Salvage locations for equipment. All right. Oh, big, big old music now. All right, we're out on a mission, folks. Let's turn our headlights on. We're now looking for two crash sites where we can find a logic board, like a CPU, and also a power coupling as well. So we got to find both of those things. I don't know where we can start looking, but maybe there's one nearby. This one's saying it's just a couple of hundred meters over this way, so let's let's roll over here and see what we can see. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I see some uh, some sparks over here. This has got to be a part of one of the crash sites. So we'll make our way into this mountain and see what we've got. Oh, boy. This is going to be interesting. All right, let's park right here. JCB, I'll uh, leave the lights on so it can light up the tunnel. Oh, looks like we're going to be going underground on this one. Oh, yes. All right, let's hop up here. You can see all the dust and stuff blowing into the tunnel. Oh, that looked cool. Uh-oh, nearby is a level 15 corrosive zone. we got to watch out for that. That's immediate death. Wow, this music right here. Oh, look, the tunnel's all bright and lit up. How nice. Oh, watch out for lava. Lava, lava, lava. Oh, boy. Wow, I feel like I'm RoboCop or something. And by the way, look at how we look as a, uh, as a, as a guy. Look at that. That looks really cool. Our character model's really neat. Yeah. Looks good, too, when you look at it from... Uh, let's play in third person a little bit. First person's cool, but let's try from third person now. We're going to move towards these uh, lava pillars of death. And uh, there we go. That's what we're looking for. That's the module down there. Geronimo! All right, perfect. Oh, there we go. It's the Mars lander or something like that that busted through. All right, well, let's go ahead and salvage some equipment from this. All right, there you we go. Let's return the salvaged component to the hab. Very nice. All right, we're going to return then back to the hab. And uh, we're going to... I hope it's not Habitat from Humanity, though. It's uh, Jimmy Carter might be around, and you know him. You know Jimmy. He eats all your uh, Slim Jims, and then he uh, makes a real mess with the crayons. Those crayons are mine, Jimmy Carter. You leave them alone. Former U.S. President Jimmy Carter. You leave me alone. All right, let's go out of here. We're, oh, there's the exit right there. All right, up over the top. Nope, okay, I guess we'll uh, jump into the lava, I guess. There we go. That's... Oh, okay, over the lava. All right, perfect. We're not doing too bad. Okay. So, next thing we'll have to do is go find ourselves a power coupling as well. Uh-oh, level 15 corrosive zone is around. we got to watch out for that. That could be a big danger. That girl's awfully pretty up there. I wonder if she's a robot. See her up there? All right, perfect. So, we made it out here just nice. There's a big, uh, like, I was going to say snowstorm, but it's a giant uh, dust storm going on out here. So, now we got to find the other uh, area that we need to re- So, now we can look at our mini-map. And uh, it's actually not indicated on here where it is, but we might be able to find it. Uh, there's our hab there, and that's where we are. The map's a little funky on this. I'll toggle our flashlight. Yeah, we'll go ahead and... We can return to base. Let's go ahead and do that now. We'll just return to base. Looks like we didn't even have to go that far, really. We could have just walked. But we'll go ahead and install the first logic board, which will help get our CPU up and running. And then we'll go and grab that power coupling, however which way we need to go to find that. So, okay. Pull up right here, and we'll walk the rest of the way. Very good. And uh, let's run over to the base. I think we might be able to use some New of our mission. oxygen. Enter the hab to install the salvaged component. Oh, it looks like I can't do that yet. All right, we'll, uh, eh, we're will we at 50% oxygen. We'll be okay. All right, we'll go ahead and install this then. There we go. Ooh, mood lighting. Are you hitting on me? What's up? Well, this is very romantic in here, by the way, young lady. All right, let's see. Um, okay, so inventory. We'll go ahead and drop this into our, our cargo pod. Repair complete. Very find good. Find the other missing component. Okay, very nice. we got to find the other component. Roger that. Ooh, wow, it's beautiful out. And that music kicking up again. Let's grab some oxygen. Give me some of that delicious O2. 
we can't pick up any. I think we've, uh, I think we have too many, uh, repair materials or something like that. That's probably what it is. Can we, actually, you know what we can do is we can drop some of this repair ammo. Let's go ahead and drop, like, two of them. There we go. And then we'll just pick up two of these oxygen containers. Very nice. We'll put those in our inventory, and that should last us for the rest of this trip, so we'll be okay. Perfect. All right, let's get into the JCB, and let's skirt, skirt. I guess it wouldn't be real, I don't know, it's more of a... It's, it's, you know, it's, it's a solar vehicle. All right, now we got to get to the second area. Looks like we got to drive about uh, 0.58 kilometers this direction through the geysers of death. There are so many hazards that can kill you. Right there is, a boom, a giant uh, radioactive pit. Over there is the geysers of death. You saw already the meteorites and the uh, corrosive gas. And, of course, who could ever forget the tornadoes of death that were shooting lightning? It was crazy. All right, we're going up over this direction now. So it looks like we're going to have to hop over some of this stuff here. I see some large ledges. We're going to have to see if we can find the power coupling up there. I wonder if a satellite crashed down and landed on one of the rocks up there. That might be it. All right, so we should be here. So this JCB, by the way, get used to this one, folks, because we're going to be attaching an excavator to it very soon. It's going to be rather lit and dank, I would say. All right, looks like we need to pull up about here. I don't know if we should go any closer. Uh, let's just get a little closer. It doesn't look like it's too dangerous up here. Uh, okay, well, never mind. We're going to be all right. Oh, and I see sparks again, which is a good sign. All right, let's go ahead and park here. All right, perfect. Now, let's go ahead and jump over on this ledge and see if we can get our way up there. Oh, you can see it up there. Actually, can we just jump up there from here? We might be able to just... Uh, oh, oh. Oh, all right, let's, let's try that again. No fall damage on Mars. The gravity is much lower here, as you would imagine. I see the satellite up there. We might have to take the long way around. Oh, looks like... Wow, what is this thing? Oh, geez, what is that? A military vehicle? All right, let's try to take the long way around then. We'll go ahead and go this way. We're going to have to watch out for the, yes, the uh, level 4 corrosive zone. And we almost just dropped right into that one. Okay, so if we drop down, we have to go back over here and restart. So we'll have to uh, be mindful of that. So we'll jump up here on these rocks. All right, through the first gap. There we go. Perfect. Over the second one. Not into the corrosive gas pit of death. There we go. All right, just a couple more jumps to make. All right, there we go. Perfect. And we're good. All right, so now all we got to do is get up over to the ledge over there and stay away from the level 4 corrosive uh, stuff. Yeah, there's so many hazards out here. It's crazy. All right, there we go. And through... Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Perfect. Nice landing. All right, and it is a satellite. Very nice. That must be the direct... Oh, that's what happened to my direct TV satellite uh, thing. All right, there we go. That's why their signal's so bad. Wait a minute. Look at that. There's actually an... Oh, there's a box here. We might be able to look in it. Hold on a sec. Oh, God. Oh, oh dear God. Okay, I don't want to look in that. Don't don't look. Don't look. Oh, boy. This is going to be bad. Uh-oh. I, I went too far. He went too far. Actually, if we take any damage from that uh, corrosive liquid, we can uh, heal ourselves by, like, napping and stuff. So let's just jump over this way. We should be okay. This is a level four, so it won't hurt us too bad. But let's actually get down here and look at this crate. The jumping can be a little weird because of the gravity, but we should be okay. All right, perfect, we made it. All right, what's down here? Oh, is that a mushroom? Oh, no, that's that's a rock. Oh, I can't crouch? Oh, that stinks. All right, let's go back over here. There's the container we're looking for. Let's see what's in here. Oh, it looks like we found some good stuff. Medicine, actually quite a bit of medicine. Can we grab any of this? Uh, items? No, can we... Oh, why can't we grab any of this stuff? There's a small med kit here. Oh, we're 9 out of 10. Oh, but can we can we grab one? Canister of oxygen and rubber seals as well. Okay, well, since we're kind of limited on supplies, we'll, actually, let's use the rest of our oxygen. Uh, we're limited on room. Let's see if we can grab one thing. Oh, there we go. Med kit, at least, that we can grab. Okay, so we're at 9 out of 10. We should be able to grab one more thing, though. Uh, it doesn't look like it lets us, though. So, all right, well, we'll at least grab the med kit. So just in case we take any damage again, we'll go ahead and use our med kit before, um, you know, before we die. That would be bad. Looks like there's some containers down there, but they're not going to be useful. All right, let's get back to the car and let's skirt, skirt out of here. Perfect. All right, well, at least we found a med kit and such, so if we run into trouble, we should be okay. And uh, we're going to grab up. Look at that. That looks so cool. This is really awesome. Though, I will say the, uh, you know, Electrical Dust Storm, which is a great metal band name, uh, is a little scary. This thing looks like a beetle or something like that, doesn't it? Almost looks like I should be driving it the other way. But you can see where it really looks like a JCB at the front. It looks like a skid steer of some sort. Okay, we're going to head all the way back to base now with our newfound components, and we're going to start building our base. So base building upcoming very soon. We're just going to find our way back, and I think all we need to do is really stick to the left side of the mountain. Or actually, wait, as you can see there, the hab is in front of us, but uh, we will have to go around the mountain somehow. Oh, boy. Oh boy. 
We're really taking a beating over here on this side of the mound. Let's cut through uh, Stonehenge over here. Looks like Stonehenge, doesn't it? And around the uh, Geysers of Death. That's going to be a radioactive zone there. Stay away from that crater as much as possible. That's a level 5 radiation zone. Try to go well around that. There we go. Yeah, so for those of you who do uh, construction sites and mining, a lot more to worry about here. You don't have uh, other equipment and such to wor be worried about so much as you do geysers of death and uh, pits of despair and so much more waiting for you in the Martian landscape. Okay, there's our base there. We're going to go ahead and take the long way around here as we're pulling up. Very nice. All right, we got plenty of power left, plenty of health, plenty of everything. Oh, a little lower on the water, though. We're at 89%, so we'll have to make sure we get some water here soon enough on the surface of Mars. All right, let's pull up. There we go. And let's hop out. Very nice. Okay, so both components have been retrieved, and here is our power coupling. Hello, young lady. Welcome. Oh, you should say welcome to me. Well, I'm welcome home. Yes, welcome home, me. It has complete. Yeah. Systems online. All right. Cool. Send a Facebook message. Analysis to shows oh. the colony's power level is less than expected. Uh oh. Enter the colony plan visualizer. Oh, this thing, the CPV. All right. Oh, very nice. The solar array cannot be connected. Oh, we're going to have to connect here with some power lines, I see. Boom, boom. Perfect. Online. Success. The building is now connected to the network. Remember, all new buildings need to con be connected in order to function. All right, roger that. Okay, very good. So now we have power online. Uh, so connect buildings complete now. The more upgrades we apply to the vehicle. Oh, we're going to also be able to upgrade our... Uh, oh, it looks like they weren't connected via the power uh, thing, that the, co the conduit there. All right, time to upgrade the little JCB. Time to become a big JCB now. I know you're going to grow up. Going to become they're becoming so big and strong. I know. All right, let's roll in. And perfect. All right, very nice. Now, all we have to do in order to upgrade is come over here to this little computer. There we go. And she's in the garage. And now... Welcome to the garage interface, Pioneer. Yes. Spend research points and JCB credits to upgrade the garaged vehicle. Okay. Add an excavation arm to the JMC X18 to enable the mining of resources for construction. All right. This We're going to start doing some construction. The potential upgrades that can be Once the upgrade is selected, oh. a summary is shown. Spend research points to research this vehicle upgrade. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. We're researching, researching, and... Come research on. complete. All right. This upgrade can now be applied to any JMC X18. Perfect. Apply Very it good. to this. This upgrade is now applied. Further upgrades are now available for research. Increase battery capacity, rudimentary corrosive shielding. Okay, what else can we do? Extra armor and a bigger bucket as well if we need to. So Notice let's go that back. Notice JMC X18 is now upgraded with an excavation arm. It sure is. Oh, wow, that's a little leggy. Oh, there we go. Oh, there it is. Nice. Uh, okay, that, that's strange. Um, uh... Sorry, the, yeah, the button got stuck. Okay, oh, it's nighttime now. Ooh, all right, that's interesting. Oh, you can see the sparks off in the distance as well. Very cool. Okay, so uh, anyway, our briefing told us that we have new things inside the, uh, the habitat as well. So we're going to go take a look at what we've got. We have a trade post, a few other things we can do. Wow, this game, wow, it's really cool. Oh, all right, perfect. Our first day is done then, I guess. Vehicle damage suit. Oh, it looks like, oh, perfect. Nothing's been damaged because we... Healed up or something? I'm not sure. Karma score. A lot of good stuff going on here. Very good. All right. So we have our 3D printer here, our crafting station. We'll have to find some more stuff in order to craft. Unfortunately, we don't have that big of pockets. But we could upgrade our suit if we need to. But let's go ahead and take a mission. Our first mission, then get some air. Uh, habitat unit air processors have been damaged, so we'll have to make some new ones. Let's go ahead and do that then. And we can do that over by uh, making some stuff at the 3D printer, uh, which is, well, actually, no. We'll have to actually set down 3D printers with our colony planner view. So let's go ahead and uh, move over to, uh, let's see, our core units. And uh, important stuff is our O2 generator level 1, so we'll have to put one of those down. We'll have to make some oxygen here. And let's see where we can put that. This might be a good area over here. Let's see if we can connect it to something. There we go. That's a good spot. Can we not connect it to the radar? Let's do that. We'll try to connect it to the radar dish if we can. There we go. All right, we'll have that place down there. Now, a giant 3D printer has been set up outside of our base that's going to require materials in order to build that. So, Kevin, if you're watching, this is your show. All right, so it's, uh, yes, it's the midst of, uh, of the, uh, oh, it's beautiful out here. Much better than that uh, gigantic uh, sandstorm. And I'm not talking to Rude. So uh, let's move over this way then. So we've got our 3D printer here. We're going to have to go out and mine materials now to complete this. So we need five raw copper, iron, and zinc. And we'll have to deliver that back here so that way our oxygen 
uh, processors can be made so that way we can fill up any time. So obviously food important, water important, and also our health is important, but man, that doesn't matter if we don't have oxygen. So actually before we go, I was going to grab the uh, grab the whip, but before we do, let's grab some more extra supplies. So let's go ahead and grab our O2, and let's grab some uh, repair material. And O2 is a little bit more important, I think, so we'll yep, grab the rest of that. Okay, so we're going to head over to the whip, and we're going to uh, roll out and find ourselves a mine. So uh, we're going to go see where we can mine some of these materials at. Ah, there she is. Doesn't it look cool when it's in the garage? I love this thing. All right, big O door opens up here. So again, some of the vehicles that we can have that I'll, I'll have to show you at the main computer, but we can have ourselves a giant excavator, we can have ourselves a dump truck, and we can have this thing as well. So we're going to go out and mine wherever we need to. looks like we can uh, roll up here to the mine. You see it's indicated on the map at about 200 meters away this way, about 250 right now. So we need copper, iron, and zinc. I think that's a good idea, don't you? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Let's roll up here, boys. Oh, that's cool. By the way, we can roll it. We can roll out in the dark or we can turn the headlights on. Very cool. Of course, headlights use more power. But in the midst of night, we do need to see where we're going, especially with there's uh, being giant rocks in the way. All right. Looks like we've about found our first uh, little deposit up here. Our first little mine. We can start mining for a billion dollars in ore and mine. Uh, minerals and possibly diamonds. Oh, I don't know. Maybe there, maybe there's something very rare under the surface of Mars. So billion dollars is definitely. Oh God. Okay. Well, we better get working quick. Okay, we're gonna engage the crane now, and we're gonna go ahead and start mining some of these materials. So go ahead and crane, and start mining. Here it goes. All right, it's pretty much automatic for the most part. So it's gonna grab a lot of those minerals. We need five copper, five zinc and five iron so we're gonna keep on mining until uh, until the machine is full and then we're gonna get rid of what we can't have any more of so keep mining and I don't know if there's any way really to tell I think it's at random what it grabs looks like we have the two copper now that we need and another zinc so we're just gonna keep mining until we're full we, get, we have a capacity of 40 this is almost like one of those claw games and unfortunately we can't go into a different view oh yes we can yeah that's cool wow look at that and then it just puts it back into the hopper all right very good. Let's keep on mining. Boy, it's a crazy atmosphere out there. Oh, careful now. All right, let's grab uh, from here. There we go. There we go. Oh, we press V to exit the mining mode. All right, more copper and zinc. That's very good. All right, we'll keep mining here until we're completely full. Let's keep an eye on the uh, atmosphere. Make sure the moon's not coming at us. Well, that's bad. Beautiful game. Absolutely gorgeous for a game where JCB is like, hey, let's go to the moon or hey, let's go to Mars. Uh, looking looking pretty sn spiffy, snazzy, sn sniffy, spiffy, spoofy. I don't know. All right, JCB is almost full up here. There we go. Looks like it is full now. All right, cargo hold is full. Let's return to base. All right, here we go. Skr -skr. All right, here we go. All right, down the hill with ease. Oh, boy, that's a steep one. Woo, man, that's a big hill. All right, back to base we go. And it uh, looks like we need some more iron, actually. Hold on a second. We didn't get everything. I thought we did. Hold on a second. We can stop here for a second. Copper, iron, zinc, and uh, aluminum. All right, we can go ahead and get rid of the aluminum. Unfortunately, we don't need that. We're about to bump into a rock at a very slow, dramatic pace. All right, let's get rid of that. All right, so it looks like we've got iron, zinc, and copper. We do need to get a little bit of iron, so let's pull back. Got to get a little iron in our diet, of course. It's going to be good. All right, we need to, I think, get just one more piece of iron, I think. So we'll see how that works. Good thing I didn't get all the way back to base. I thought we were completely full of iron, but guess not. We'll start over on this side now. So this is like a, a JCB skid steer meets a, a little excavator, isn't it? Like a little uh, little backhoe or something like that. All right, let's grab all this stuff down here. I like how it's automatic, though I wish there was a way to actually control it. But it does make mining a lot easier if you don't want to do that. There's one more copper, zinc, and aluminum. Let's grab from over here. You leave me alone, meteorites. Boy, they chose a bad day to start. All right, a little bit more mining to do. Come on now. There we go. We got what we needed. All right, perfect. Now we can return to base and work on that. Uh, oh, no, wait a minute. We still need to get a little bit more. I'm getting excited. I just want to finish the, uh, the oxygen. Come on, baby. Your cargo hold is full. Oh, she's telling us we're full. No, we can't be full yet. Aluminum, get out of here. Don't need you. All right, iron, we have four. All right, oh, a lot of copper. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of that. Our cargo space is limited, so we do have to, unfortunately, leave some things behind. But I don't want to take two trips. That would be un-American of me. But we're on Mars, so who cares? All right, five iron. Come on, baby. There we go. That should be all the iron that we need now, correct? 
Come on, I want to see it check off. Check, collect five iron. See what's in our inventory. We've got uh, 21. Oh, we have six iron now, but it's not telling us that we have all the iron that we need. Oh, let's just keep on mining then until we're full. Maybe she'll tell us to go back to base once it's full. There we go. All right, well, now we're full. And even though she says collect five raw iron, we're going to head back now. Beautiful sight this nighttime. This is my probably favorite view. And it's a shame that they start you out with the uh, giant windstorm because you don't get to actually see the whole beauty of the map. We got a lot of mining in here today. We got a lot to do. And uh, we're going to have ourselves a big old base in no time. So let's uh, skirt, skirt down to the uh, down to the base here. And we're going to, uh, I know, I know, I'm saying skirt, skirt too much. From now on, it's going to be scope, scope. All right, now, look at this, man. It's got all these safety features, all these cool lights. Man, is this cool. Imagine if we're driving an excavator around. That's going to be awesome. All right, now it's time to drop these off at the 3D printers. So we do need to jump over, uh, there we go, over the uh, conduit there and pull up to the 3D printer. And now drop off some supply. Oh, I thought I was very close to that. I guess I was way too close to that. And uh, we do need to drop this off somewhere. We need to get close enough to drop it off. But I don't know where. It's, uh, it could be finicky, I think, sometimes. Let's see how close we can get. All right, let's try over here. All right, let's try this. There we go. All right, so we need raw iron. Boom. And we need to transfer four. It's telling us we have four. Oh, that's interesting. We had five. Raw copper. Four. Oh, it's only letting us transfer four. And zinc. Five. Interesting. The game is in uh, early access as well, so we'll have to go back to the mine to finish everything up. But the 3D printer is doing what it's supposed to do. We're just short a couple of minerals, even though it says collect five zinc and, and five uh, copper. We were still short on that one, so something, something to work on in the uh, development of the game. So that's all right. I guess we get to go do some more mining. That's all good with me. That's the name of the game here in JCB Pioneer Mars. Mars is a heck of a place. Never been. I don't think I'd take a vacation there, though. All right, let's get back up that hill. We're going to go see if we can do some mining up there. looks like our O2 is low as well. We'll be okay, though. we got nine minutes of oxygen left, so we'll uh, we'll risk it for a little bit of a biscuit, a tasty little morsel. And uh, let's see here. Oh, my goodness. Wow, look at, look at the landscape here. Look at this. All right, let's try to get up to this uh, same area that we were using before. However, we can use our scanner to find more resource pools, so we don't have to just go to this one. There's many around. But since this one was the first one we found, we may as well, uh, I guess, uh, mine it to completion. All right, we'll go ahead and pull up here then and see if we can uh, just get the rest of the materials that we need. Oh, need to be stationary. Okay, there we go. All right. Perfect. Back to the claw game we go. Very nice. Three copper. All right, we're good on the copper now. Come on, give me some zinc. Give me some iron. All right, good. Now we got everything that we needed. Two aluminum. Look at that. Interesting. It now says everything's done. Let's just continue to make sure we grab everything. Feed the resources into the O2 uh, 3D printer. All right, so that's our last objective. We're going to make sure we grab some more stuff. It helps with our XP, which eventually will give us more research points. Boy, you got to be a bit of an astronaut, bit of a construction worker. A lot you got to do in space. Ooh, a lot of big stuff there. 180 XP on that one. Final claw game before we go. Here we go. And then we'll head back to base for a little bit of oxygen. Should be good. All right, all good. Perfect, let's roll. Rap will be allowed. All right, so back to the base we go, and we're going to dump all of our materials into the O2 processor, or at least the 3D printers for that, and that should allow us to have a fully functioning base in terms of power and oxygen. Then we'll have to start making things that create water. Perhaps there's uh, ways to get uh, moisture out of the air or... Um, there are ways to make uh, water through uh, condensing different types of gases and such, though primarily we need oxygen, so we could definitely make water with that oxygen O2 maker. We'll see. All right, pulling up again. And here we go. Perfect. Look at this thing pulling right in, man. Look at that. Isn't it a nice-looking vehicle? Oh, let's take a look at this again. Oh, it's actually the first time we're getting to see it in the daylight. Oh, wow, it's got an awfully large hitbox on you, too. Pardon me. Sorry. All right, and into the 3D printer we go, and just bump into it, I guess. We take a little bit of damage by bumping stuff, but you got to be real close to get things into the 3D printers. I wish we could be about this far away. There we go. All right, so zinc is good. Let's go ahead and put some iron in there. There we go. 
Strange. And also some raw copper, which we had more than enough of. Very weird, this game. All right, we're all good. All right, now available is the small O2 canister. All right, we've finished that. Very good. And our O2. Wow, that was a huge construction site for such a little little thing. Get some air. Complete. All right, so we get some bonus points for that. Let's go ahead and literally get some air now. We're going to back our JCB into the garage. Beep, beep. Perfect. Door opens very nicely, and we'll hop out. She'll get repaired and all that stuff. Oh, apparently we have full oxygen as well. Oh, no, I guess our vehicle did, but... Huh. I guess our vehicle oxygen supply is separate from our... T uh, I guess our suit supply. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some oxygen then out of these small containers. Mission is complete. Our first mission on Mars is done here. And let's grab some canisters. Oh, I guess we're full. Did I? Oh, I must have some more in my inventory. Oh, of course. All right, very good. All right, we'll uh, tank up then. There we go. And we'll go ahead and check our Facebook page. All right, cool. Oh, looks like we're getting more popular on Earth. I'm just kidding. We got a lot of good stuff here. Very nice. All right, level one. Looking at the... What, 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 what about statistics? Oh, cool. You can see all the air suit and all the travel. Oh, wait. Missions and such? All right, whatever. Let's claim our uh, prestigious award then. All right, we got 10,000 JCB points. All right, very nice. Now we can go do some more missions. Emergency rations. It'll be difficult to survive on long without food. Creating a hydroponics lab will make you get some real dank nutrients. Oh, gross, a nutrient paste. It won't taste good, but it'll provide sustenance. All right. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, I guess this beats the Dino Diner, I suppose. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, start by going over to the trade post, which, wait, no, not the trade post. We want to go back over to the uh, CPV and let's see if we can put down a hydroponics lab I don't know where that is maybe under core units landing pad hydroponics level one is what we're looking for all right let's go ahead and put that near the uh, O2 section if we can oh here we'll put it over this section I want to put all the small buildings over here but it's kind of picky about where it lets you put things I want to kind of put it over here actually our O2 maker isn't working until we connect it as well so we better do that too so let's go ahead and start by that so we'll go ahead and connect these two up. Let's, oh, wait a minute. No, let's deselect everything. Deselect, all right, let's start over. Okay, all right, refresh, perfect. All right, here to here, boom, connected. And then let's also connect the other thing. So now we have to exit and do that. And let's go to the hydroponics lab right here. And let's go ahead and put it right over here. Has to be green to build, it seems. There we go. Okay, let's see what we need to build this thing now. All right, we need to grab 10 carbon and 10 iron. Looks like we already have the aluminum that we need. The Illuminati. No, wait. All right, iron and carbon is what we need next, and we'll go back up to our old mine. I like how every time we do something, the day changes. It really changes the atmosphere of Mars a little bit. Well, li literally and figuratively, I suppose. All right, let's roll out, and let's go ahead and get some uh, iron and some aluminum. Looks like the rapid This is hilarious. Okay. So let's go ahead and see if we can drop off some of the materials that we need. And it's a shame. We need to be we need to be able to build a large warehouse. And in order to do that, um, we need more materials. So unfortunately, we're going to have to be a little bit wasteful and follow the missions in order. So, you know, we can build a warehouse and do all that. But let's do these missions so we can get the JCB points to build new stuff. So let's pull up quick. There we go. And luckily, the repairs are free. So we need carbon in this thing. So let's just go ahead and do a quick transfer of everything. Aluminum's done. We need iron and carbon then that we need. So we'll go ahead and head back up to our mine and get that all done. Let's go ahead and dump everything out actually that we don't need. And unfortunately, we just have to leave it on the ground. There's really nothing we can do for storage. Um, I've tried to put it in those crates before, but it doesn't actually work. If you try to store it in, for example, one of these little uh, storage containers, you can back up very close to it. I like to just kind of bump into them to make sure you, you know that you can put it in there. A lot of these things won't let you actually put them in there. So we need to have a large resource uh, facility in order to do that. All right. You folks know where we got to go back up to the old mining site. Oh, wait a minute. This one, this next one is 1.9 kilometers away. We got to take a little bit of a drive, it seems. All right. Let's see here. Should we take the low road? All right, let's take the low road. Or do we go back up the same way? This should be a different mine. Yeah, we got to go a lot longer of a distance. Now, this is the type of game I wanted to play. Now, avoiding the meteorites and the tornadoes and such is exciting, but this is very nice as well. I like being able to drive on the surface of Mars, go build some stuff. Now, we can build ourselves, like, giant uh, cargo bases. We can build areas to get supplies from. Oh, my God, here come the meteorites again. Oh, boy. That's like your bad neighbors. If their names were the meteorites, it's like, oh, boy, here come the meteorites, and then just boom, boom, boom. It's like, oh, he must be fiddling in the garage again. All right, so we're going to go over this way now. 
Oh boy, those meteorites are close. We're gonna have to watch out for those. We got plenty of oxygen. We're now making ourselves some food. Uh, the hydroponics lab will allow us to get some food. Over here is where we found our JCB at the very start a little while ago. So I guess, yeah, we're heading back into meteorite territory. And I guess we have no choice but to go down here. Oh boy, this looks dangerous. Slow it down. All right, meteorite level two is near. All right, looks like we found an alternative route around the uh, blockage from before. So same thing, more tornadoes, more death, more destruction. We're going to make it to this next site here. We're going to need all these materials then, the uh, carbon, aluminum, and iron, in order to complete this uh, next set of construction here. So uh, eh, we should have some iron and such left over, so that won't be a problem. So it's really the iron and the carbon that we need this time around. So we'll uh, make sure everything's connected to the main power grid and then make sure uh, everything's all good here. The only real complaint I have so far is th just the map is difficult to use, so you can't plot your course. You'll end up going the wrong way and getting blocked, like, for example, over there where, uh, you know, I came from originally. But let's go ahead and pull this thing around now. We're in the uh, shadow of the uh, giant mountain here. Let's back her into place, and uh, there we go. It should be good right about there. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Actually, we can park on here. We don't have to just back off into the... There we go. All right, so again, we just have a, a little bit of a claw game to play while we wait for more supplies to come into the, uh, there we go, into the hopper. Very good. And uh, let's go ahead and grab some more. So we're going to try to leave here. Now, I think uh, I, I was reading the uh, inventory wrong, so I'm sure somebody had said something about that. But uh, as I looked at it, we'll have a little bit of inventory to, uh, to grab here. Actually, let me grab some oxygen, too. There we go. Just pumping some more into the suit. Very good. All right, so we got oxygen humming back at the base. We've got uh, our hydroponics lab almost ready to go here. And, uh, again, we'll just grab randomly. As far as I think, there's not much more to do. All right, three carbon. Very good. Aluminum. Aluminium. You're next. Aluminum, as we say in the U.S. Aluminium, of course, is the uh, traditional pronunciation. Three carbon. Very good. We can definitely drop more of that. If anything, we get XP, so even though we're not bringing it with us... Too bad we can't just leave it in a giant pile. All right, looks like we're full now. Okay, very good. Now let's go ahead and uh, dump out what we don't need. So what do we need? Okay, so it looks like a, uh, car, uh, everything but the copper. So And I think here on the right side is the number that we have, but I'm not sure what the two on that side is then. So we'll go ahead and dump off uh, the what one that we have of this. And uh, we need the iron and the carbon. Whoa, uh, wait. Actually, we don't need iron. Uh, we do. All right, more of this. Uh-oh. Better not be a tornado or something. Uh-oh, tornado... Look at that. They're heading right for us. You leave me alone. All right, hold on. we gotta, we got to watch up ahead. Make sure those... Oh, yeah, they're coming right for us. They know what's up. They're trolling. All right. Wow, look at that. We have 19 carbon. All right, we, we got to drop nine of these. Let's go ahead and drop that. We only need 10. All right, very good. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, let's dig right here. All right. Very good. I'm excited. This is good. All right. We're going to get another part of our base built up. That's what's fun about this game. I like the base building. I like the uh, traveling a little bit. We're good on battery power. We're good on range. We'll just head right back to base after this. We're trying to at least get uh, the iron and the uh, aluminum that we need. So uh, it's just a little, bit of a little bit of a waiting game. It would be nice to pick up some radio out here. Some hits of the 80s would be nice. They should be arriving about now, right? Okay, let's see. Uh, 19 carbon again. Wow, all we're getting is carbon, though. All right, let's go ahead and drop 9 carbon again. Oh, man. Where in the world is carbon sand? I'm, I'm kidding. That I'm sorry. Now, I don't know if clicking on different spots really has an effect on it, so I guess we'll have to experiment a little bit here. That that was 3 carbon again, yet so much carbon over here. Let's, let's grab over here. Let's see if there's any difference. This looks a little bit more uh, rusty. Maybe it's more iron or... Uh, oh, more carbon again. Okay, it just seems to be at random. Let's try grabbing over here. All right. More carbon. Man, we just seem to be getting nothing but carbon here. Okay, well, let's do this. Uh, we can't bring any more carbon than what we actually need, so we could probably find iron anywhere. What was the other thing that we need? The only new thing that was a little rare was the uh, carbon. So aluminum and iron should be found at the uh, the close-by base, and it's getting a little late, so let's get rolling. I don't know if there's a day-night cycle. It seems to just be based on missions, though I don't know if missions simulate a change in day or whatnot. Right, let's go ahead and stop here quickly. I know it's a little dangerous to get out with the tornadoes there, but let's go ahead and grab some supplies out of here. We have simple plastic fabric, antiseptic, and a small med kit. Uh, looks like we can't... Uh, are we all full again? 
Looks like we'll be able to grab one of these, and let's grab... Oh, I don't know what else sounds very uh, useful. Antiseptic sounds good, too. All right, so good. We got extra supplies here. Let's go ahead and grab the vehicle, and let's get out of here. All right. Score, score. Okay, so we're heading back to base now. Looks like uh, O2 is at 50%. We're okay there. We'll uh, be able to make it back with all the energy, and uh, we'll grab some aluminum and iron, and we'll finish up the base here very soon. Wow, did you see that? We got, like, hit by lightning, but it doesn't do any any damage. It, like, is able to disperse that through the tires, through the ground. All right, let's see here. All right, up this way we go. Very good. I see yet another uh, little uh, little supply crate, but there's not much we can do with it. All right, past the Vespian geysers. Man, those look really cool, really realistic right there. All right, we're heading back to base now. We can see it on the mini-map. It's just almost directly south. Almost. Uh-oh. Here come the meteorites again. Boom, baby. Wow, that is impressive. You're not going to stop me, meteorites. You can't do it. Oh, boy. Oh, maybe they can. Okay, watch it, watch it, watch it. Oh, boy, that's close. Oh, boy, they're getting close. All right, this is a level five. Oh, this is getting serious. Oh, man, super serial right now. And there's a carbon, or I mean a corrosive uh, gas thing in front of us. Oh, boy, they don't want us to have that carbon. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Stay away. There we go. Alright, well, JCB is definitely designed to take a lot of punishment, but uh, this is really a punishment on a whole different level. Luckily, we made it out of there with little to no damage. And there's the base. Oh boy. Wow, we are just flooring it down this mountain now. Look at this. You can just see me escaping the, uh, <laughs> the explosions in the background. You can't stop me! You can't stop me! Oh wow. They're trying, though. All right, watch out for the rock. There we go, a little drifting. All right, let's get the lights on. There we go. Okay, perfect. So we made it back with at least the 10 carbon that we needed, though the uh, aluminum and the iron is going to have to come another day, I think. So let's go ahead and see if we can drop this off in the 3D printer. I guess we'll have to wait till tomorrow to get that. Well, I mean, I don't know. How long's it? Actually, I'll have to look. How long does a day last in Mars? It's got to be more than 24 hours, I think. They have a lot longer distance to cover. All right, our 3D area over here is ready to go. Let's go ahead and pull up. I like to bump it just to make sure. Oh, wow, we take a lot of damage just bumping a building that's not even complete. Oh, wow, look at that. We're still not even close enough to deliver. That's one thing that needs to change, too. You should be able to be a little further away from it. Like, literally, I'm on top of it and still not enough. Come on, baby. Let me in there. Let the Dino Man in. Uh, maybe we got to be closer to these tanks. I'm not sure. Uh, okay, well, we had it perfectly before. Well, at least we've collected most of what we need here. All right, wow, it's getting dark quick. Good thing nothing really comes of our base in terms of tornadoes and such. Oh, actually, oh, we can't drive with the inventory open. Come on now. Got to be able to drop this stuff off, folks. Oh, yeah, maybe over here at the 3D printer head. Nope. Huh. Well, anyway, I'll get this stuff all delivered. Not a problem. We'll go ahead and deliver that, and we'll go out for another day. Thanks for joining me, folks. That is it for this episode. I hope you like the game, and we'll be playing a lot more of this. I'll be doing a lot more delivery. There we go. That's what we're looking for, and perfect. So I'll grab nine more iron, five more aluminum, and we'll get this hydroponic farm all complete. After that, we're going to go ahead and move on to some other things and continue to connect and build our base. So if you liked it, remember to hit that like button. Welcome aboard, everyone. Nice to have you here. And, of course, if you haven't already, subscribe, too. And I'll see you guys tomorrow on another day on Mars. Bye, everyone. See you.